Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a different video because, you know, Airsoft is not only about plate carriers and guns and belts. Today we're going to talk about a backpack setup. Uh, this is important or interesting if you're a guy that likes to do milsim games, that likes to go to longer duration events, uh, and having a good backpack setup might be the difference between thriving or struggling on the field. Um, most of the gear that I have inside uh, I got from Contractor House, which is one of our partners, so make sure to check them, check them out. Um, and we're going to try to do maybe this in two parts, uh, so it doesn't be just a uh, long clip so we don't bore you guys. Um, before you get all of the items and gear to put inside your pack, there is something that you need to do first, which is information. Getting information about what you're going to do, about the event or whatever, is very important. So, uh, if it is a Milsim event, try to see if uh, the organization is going to provide you with food and water, or, if, or you have to bring it yourself. Try to see if you're going to sleep on the field or sleep on a in a specific location provided by the organization. Uh, terrain features, uh, so if it is uh, flat terrain, if it has a lot of hills, and you can uh, research this by going to Google, uh, Google Earth or Google Maps. Uh, try to see the weather conditions, if it's going to be hot, it's going to be cold, if it's going to be raining. Uh, all of this information is going to be really, really important so that you can bring uh, the essential items only and not bring extra stuff because it will only be added weight on your shoulders. And after you get all of that, you, you go to the second part, which is the backpack itself. Uh, it should be a comfortable uh, and high quality pack. Uh, the one that I got here is from Warrior Soul Systems, it's the Predator pack. It is their medium sized pack. Uh, I did add five pouches, two uh, on each side and here one on the front, so that I can get a little bit more capacity. Uh, and be aware that this pack is prepared for a 48, around 48 hour game, where you have to bring your own food, your own water, and you have to sleep on the field. Um, of course, this is my own personal setup because uh, each one of us makes their setups its own. Uh, this is just gonna be an example. The quality of the pack is very important. So there are certain details that you should be on the lookout for. I'm gonna show you on the close-ups um, the, the features that this pack have, uh, has. Um, but you should be on the lookout for the shoulder straps, see if they have padding, if they are wide enough, so the weight gets uh, well distributed through your shoulders. Um, if it has reinforced stitching in the areas that have uh, more stress or more tension, uh, for example, where the straps meet the body of the pack, it should be reinforced. Uh, the organizational features that the backpack has, um, see the uh, adjustments that it has on the straps and on the pack itself, uh, and of course the overall quality of the cordura of the zippers all of these are good indicators of quality. Um, so we are going to go to another angle so that I can show you what I have inside. So let's do it. So we are now going to start with the opening of the pack. So this has some straps here on each side, uh, which is the compression straps. So just going to open this up. I did add this strap here just to keep this pouch a little bit more secure. And the nice thing about this is it does open in a clamshell style uh, pack. So now this is the main uh, compartment of the pack. And I'm just gonna start here uh, with what I got. Starting with this small box, uh, this is where I'm going to store my NVGs. So, you know, because we may have night games and I need to have my NVG nice and secure, and I just store it here on uh, this box uh, that has some foam just to keep the NVGs protected. Uh, this is something that will maybe come in handy uh, on the field, which is a small maintenance kit. Basically what I have inside are some tools, for example a barrel nut wrench, uh, some Teflon tape, Al Allen keys and more tools, super glue and so on. So 
uh, things to do some maintenance uh, on your guns because you don't want to be out of the game just because you have a, um, a small screw that is loose or something like that. So uh, this might really come in handy for you. A first aid kit and this I usually carry one uh, on my gear. This is just a bigger one that I have inside the pack. Um, because you know you're just you're not alone on the field you have teammates you have other players um, so you should be able to help yourself and help others out also uh, i have here a medical patch uh, just so people uh, know that this is a, a first aid kit if they need to go to your pack my blood type and inside you know i just have a lot of stuff some latex gloves uh, some saline, band-aids, uh, some pills, and one thing about pills, and this is important, try to keep the expiration date uh, uh, on so that you can know uh, if they are still good or not, because you don't want to give bad pills to people. Uh, you know, ointments and gauze and whatever, so uh, this is just a bigger effect that I have on me. And these pouches are really nice. These are from Warrior Soul Systems. They are admin pouches, but I'll, I like them because they are wide but narrow. So I really enjoy these, um, these pouches. Moving on, uh, I have here, here a Magpul DACA can, and this basically is for my extra iPro. So I have inside my Gators Magnum clear lenses. Uh, just a little cloth to keep them clean uh, and you know these cases are really nice uh, they will protect uh, your eyewear eyewear really nice then the sleeping bag this is a um, snug pack uh, sleeping bag inside this is a quite generic sleeping bag it is the nautilus base ops i will show it on the close-ups um, and this is a, a, a basic sleeping bag this the, this is not for really low temperatures um, because you know in Portugal we don't get a lot of sub-zero temperatures uh, but this is a nice uh, sleeping bag that will serve you well um, the compression bag it is from sea to summit and a compression bag comes really handy because it really compresses the sleeping bag this is one of the items that will occupy um, a lot of space on the pack so keeping it the m compressed as you can uh, is ideal and these bags are cheap really nice so see the summit uh, works very well then of course the tent this is a snug pack ionosphere this is a nice one person tent um, it is uh, it has some nice features fire resistant uh, rip stop of course it is uh, in color green because you know you don't want to be on the field with like a, a generic blue or yellow tent just because you know uh, a lot of games uh, you sleep and you're sleeping but the game is still on so you want to keep some camouflage so this tent is really nice I will show it uh, assembled uh, it is cheap uh, it's good and the nice thing is it does uh, fit inside uh, my uh, pack which is uh, which is great and is something that you should be um, that you have attention with because you don't want to buy a tent that you cannot fit inside your pack then this is a floor saver and this will prolong the longevity of your tent this is basically just a big tarp, a black tarp, um, but this goes under your tent. Um, I'm not going to unfold it, uh, but this goes under your tent. And as the name says, it is a floor saver because the floor of the tent is where it usually gets a lot, uh, a lot of damage because, you know, uh, you may put it on a terrain that has a lot of rocks, twigs and whatnot, and you want to protect that floor. And this uh, does that. Uh, but this is also a multi-purpose item because you can use this as uh, for a shelter. You can use this to protect your uh, equipment from getting wet because this is waterproof. 
um, you know, if you want to just uh, do some type of shelter from the rain or from the sun, uh, you can do this also. You can use this also. It has some uh, some bungees and some some uh, here some hardware for you to hook it up on trees or whatever you find on the field. So very important to keep your tent safe. So this main compartment is empty. As you can see, it does have some molly inside. This is for uh, to attach other things if you want to. I do have here on the back a, a source hydration bladder. This is uh, this has three liter capacity, but we are going to talk about water uh, further on the video when we get to food and water. Um, here we. On this pack, we have here three mesh pockets, and this is nice so that you can see what I have inside, uh, so that you have some more, so to so have some organizational capacity. So this is where I'm going to have my uh, extra clothing. So these are some uh, underlayers. This is pants, and this is a a shirt. And this is where it gets cold on the fields and you know I need some extra layer of warmth I will use this you know quite simple it is quite simple uh, just an under layer as you can see and I advise you to have these ziplock bags uh, so that you can keep your clothes dry you never know if you get your uh, your backpack wet you want to have your underclothes dry so that you can keep that warm. Here I have an extra pair of gloves, some mechanics gloves. You can never go wrong with mechanics. And extra socks and extra boxer shorts, you know, to keep uh, yourself dry and warm. You never know when you can get your feet wet or something like that. And once again, inside a Ziploc bag to keep it dry. Right. 